Shalom, dearest friends. After such a traumatic week, a week we could have never ever imagined, I, Shalom, was sitting here in Yerushalayim, Ir Hakodesh. Want to invite you all to join me. surround ourselves with a few moments of compassion. And when I say compassion, we all know there probably aren't any more words that can be said. And words are not what our souls are looking for right now. Our beings looking for space to breathe because we all feel choked up Chanukim so I'm inviting you to take three breaths with me right now we'll be taking a breath inhaling for four seconds holding it for three seconds and letting it out for four seconds four, three, four whatever you find is better for you whether it's through your nose or through your mouth it's not the time to be so particular whatever you're sensing but there's just one request Keep your focus on paying attention to one thing and one thing only. The actual breath, nothing else. Let's go. group of breaths we're going to be taking right now same format three breaths four seconds in holding for three seconds 
Exhaling for four seconds. Four, three, four. I want us to sprinkle a little prayer on them. There are many people that as we are right now sharing this space together, they're finding it completely impossible to see any light in the world. When a person can't see any light, they have to stop trying to see light. And they need a good friend to remind them to simply breathe. So right now, I want you to think of one person that you know, aside from yourself, that you could sense that they're having a really difficult time seeing any light in life right now. And as you breathe, we pray their direction. Remember, dearest friends, that when God created the world and He created man, Vayipach Be'apav God breathed air into the nostrils of man, and that's how life began. On a certain level, we all are briot chadashot. We're all brand new creations this week. We can't really look at anything the same anymore. We can't treat anything the same anymore. We can't talk to each other. We can't talk to God the same anymore. Everything is being rebirthed, renewed. So this next group, this last group that we're going to be doing, I'm inviting us all to give ourselves permission to be open to learn a new language of expression and of, of emotion. With zero pressure and zero guilt, but with the red sun the desire burning deep in the heart to hold on to the preciousness of life in a newfound manner that we know we need so this last group is for acceptance of the unknown because there's no other way let's go
Oh, oh, oh.